Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video and welcome back to a video that is going to be a little bit more relaxed today. Today we are looking at goals, goals and more goals. So obviously we've had team of the season or we're having team of the season and you're probably not seeing much footage of squad battles but it does change a lot and I just wanted to show you guys um, some gameplay from me and just some watch some good goals. So for the rest of this video you're going to see all types of different goals from me scored solo from two weeks ago and I got about 127,000 points, so pretty decent. Like I said, all on um, ultimate difficulty. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy it. But also what I wanted to say is guys, if you are struggling with your squad battles or you want to get into it a little bit more, feel free to get in touch with me regarding coaching. It's Martin. Uh, FIFA88 at gmail.com um, helped loads of people already this year, loads. Um, also, if that's not for you, but you would still like to get a few tips, feel free to come and join um, my Discord and the link for that will be in the pinned comment and the descriptions. So feel free to uh, join it and come and see what it's all about. So guys, that's enough from me. Enjoy the video. Okay, so we've got a load of goals coming up here. I'm just gonna talk through some bits and pieces as the goals go in to point out for you. Um, as you can see, the controller is in the top right-hand corner. So if you see anything that you think is good or you're not sure how I've done it, go watch it back, look at the controller. Um, but I think a lot of these will probably be goals that you've seen me score before. You know, a lot of driving with the ball, um, a lot of overload situations, all stuff that you've seen in my um, videos before, you know. So, let's have a look at this one, right? So, something that I love doing, okay, it's from a defensive corner and we run the length of the pitch to score. Now, the key to this is using that right analog stick to knock it on. If you just press sprint and not use the analog stick, you're not scoring that goal. Simple as that, okay? Just little things like that that make a big, big difference. Like I said, this is on ultimate difficulty and You'd watch it and it wouldn't look like it, but that's just of knowing how to play, game plan. See here, just sometimes as well, like there, shooting when you're not 100% sure whether it's gonna go in or not, sometimes you just gotta pull the trigger and take them shots on, and you'll be surprised as to how many um, will go in, okay? The other thing is like the driving into the holes that you see, because you'll be surprised how often they'll let you go past, like there. I know a lot of you wouldn't try and do that, but trust me, it really, really, um, it really, really works. And obviously what also helps is having a player with a five-star weak foot because you can drive into either hole, you know, either side of the pitch. Again here, we're using that right analog stick to knock on. Again, if I'm just using sprint, we don't score that goal, simple as. This one, everyone says about the passing being broken. This is the difference with you've got like a KDB or a Bruno. Pinpoint into Eusebio, bang, goal, lovely stuff. This is another example of sometimes just hitting it because if there's nothing else glaring on, take the punt, hit it. You know, if you've got good players, it's on, you know, their, their good foot, get the right power, the correct accuracy. Worst case, you're gonna get a shot on target, it's gonna go out for a corner, right? And then you maybe you can score from the corner. Okay, so simple stuff, simple stuff. Here, overload situation, manipulating the play into our CDM. And of course, guys, who's the two most important players in the team? Our CDMs. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, my tactics video will be in the pinned comment down below, okay? Which uh, a set of tactics that a lot of people use and use successfully. Everybody that I coach, most of the people in my Discord um, all use it, tried and tested. So yeah, feel free to have a watch of that. So again, here, you can see our good old fashioned overload situation, six against four. What happens guys, if we've got the overload, they're either gonna be a massive gap for us to drive through or the defender's gonna cut it off, therefore we can slip the spare man in. On that occasion, we just had the hole to drive into. Easy stuff, really easy stuff. So, let's have a look at this one. What have we got? Yeah, so this one, this is again just backing yourself with decent players to be able to just be a bit creative and take that chance. It's something I say to a lot of people when I'm coaching. Don't give the AI too much respect, you know? Another goal of using the analog stick. Boom, through on goal. 
Because especially on ultimate or high legendary games, you just try and sprint away from them if you play a through ball. You're probably going to get caught up or you won't have as much time to um, create your finish. Again, normal stuff. CDM comes into play. Spare man. Boom. Lovely goal. Nice stuff. Ah, right. Okay. Different type of goal here. Where I use the fullback. I call this the banana run. To drive forward with the, the fullbacks to create the extra man in the attack. And that then allows us this situation where we can slip Fred in. Drive into that hole. Again, easy stuff. Really easy. And I just repeat this stuff over and over again. I like this one. We're getting pressurized. A lot of you guys suffer with um, when you're getting pressured. But guys, what do we do if we're getting pressured? We drive with the ball. We don't try and pass it, okay? Because that is when the AI will always nick in and take it off of us, okay? So that is where it's imperative to have those fast, quick, agile players, okay? And particularly if it's the latter part of the game, make sure you're bringing on your subs. What we've got here. This is another one from a Tau. Bigger Tau fan I am because of his attributes. And again, you see there, 75th minute, he burst past everyone to score my fifth goal. That's why subs are so important, okay? Okay, so again, here we're using the fullback, banana run, create somebody else in the attack, which means we've got that overload, which should then allow Son to be free. You've seen this finish before, fake shot stop, inside bank. You've seen me do that a million times. It still works. People say to me about the game potentially changing, stuff like that. For me, the same stuff works, works time and time and time again. There's no need to change it. Again, more use of the right analog stick. Not a goal that I normally score, but if you see it, play it. If you see it, do it, you know. You're seeing that me using that right analog stick a lot, aren't you, to drive past players. It really, really is effective, to be honest with you guys. And I've got um, a couple of videos where that's in, like, my tips and tricks. So, yeah, maybe go and try and practice it. This one was just in for a bit of fun. Nice overhead kick from Eusebio. It never hurts to have one of the top icons up front to get that little bit of extra um, stuff. Right, okay. So, a lot of you ask about corners. There's a couple of corner um, goals in here. Watch really closely at what I'm doing with my controller, okay? As I bang these a lot, and I mean a lot. This is pressurized situation. That's my fifth goal, second minute of added time, okay? There's going to be another one coming up from Eusebio, which is from the other side of the pitch. But go back and watch that corner goal if you're definitely if you're somebody that's trying to replicate my routine because it works it really does um but it takes it might take you a little bit of time to get it nailed down so watch it in detail okay nice goal from you Sabio. that was actually being quite uh, that was under pressure right here we go another team that's pressurizing us how do we get out of it so up to sterling now i'm like i'm not passing this anymore so i run with it yeah a little bit risky but i'm using a player that is fast agile nippy then when you break the press that's when you're in okay that's when you're away when you get down to that back four son is our spare man um on the overload and he does what he does best team of the season son absolutely lethal in front of goal he might take you a few games to get used to him though i've heard that quite a lot from guys in the discord and guys that i'm coaching so yeah definitely give him the chance so here again this is just driving into the hole. This is Fred on his right foot. I know a lot of you wouldn't dream of hitting that. Honestly, guys, just take the punt sometimes. And you'll be surprised what goes in. Ah, here we go. This is Hyun Min Son at his best. This is what he can do, this team of the season one. Get the ball up to him. Drive inside. Creates absolute carnage. And if something works, guys, what do we do? We do it again and again and again. The AI isn't a human. They don't understand if we're spamming the same move. So this is the same game, and I promise you this is a different goal. Up to Son again, drive inside, and here he goes. Into the hole, because of course, what's gonna happen is either it's gonna be a massive hole for us to drive into, or they'll close the hole and there'll be a spare man. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't know why this one's in here twice, but again, it shows the passing. I don't know why that was in there twice. Apologies for that. Okay, so corner kick routine from Eusebio. 
and there we have it guys and i believe that is it for today so there we have it guys hope you enjoyed that video something a little bit different um, like I said, if you want to get involved in the coaching, please feel free to get in touch. You won't be disappointed and get involved in my Discord. But other than that, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.